Welcome to this introduction to the CC320 Trigger Timing Controller from Gardasoft. The CC320 is a product which provides the basic high-speed synchronisation of machine vision devices, such as flexible triggering of machine vision cameras, lights and reject gates. It has the functionality of a high-performance PLC, but in a format ideal for machine vision applications. For example, it has a low I.O. count, but with very high speed response dedicated to triggering and sequencing purposes. The CC320 is similar to a PLC in that it controls I.O. such as sensors, switches, encoders and reject gates. But it's unlike a PLC in that its only task is focused on ultra high speed triggering and sequencing of this I.O. Therefore, its dedicated design enables it to achieve response times to 750 kHz and timing accuracy to 10 microseconds. When compared to a PLC, the benefits of the CC320 include deterministic speed, dedicated machine vision functionality, ease of use and low cost. Here we see an example of the CC320 in delayed signal mode. This is where a product is detected and there is a delay before an output is activated. In this case, turning on a single light and triggering a single camera. The delays from the trigger signal to the outputs can either be based on time or encoder counts. And we will show this in other examples in this overview. So here a simple delay of 500 milliseconds is set before the light and camera are turned on after a product is detected. Now we take the delayed signal principle and introduce a situation where multiple outputs need to be triggered from the product sensor at different times. In this example, the application uses an indexing conveyor, with the result that the products are evenly spaced through the application inspection part of the process. The timing option for synchronising the CC320 is therefore selected, in this case with a delay of 100 milliseconds from the product sensor triggering camera 1, and a 200 millisecond delay from the sensor triggering camera 2. In this third example using the delayed signal mode, we again illustrate a situation where multiple outputs are required following a trigger from a product detection sensor. But in this case the products to be inspected are unevenly spaced through the inspection part of the application. Encoder counts are therefore used here where camera 1 is triggered after 2,000 encoder counts from the product being sensed, and camera 2 is triggered after 4,000 encoder counts from the same product sensor. Gated pulse is another mode option within the CC320, and this is used where an application requires an output at a fixed frequency, but only when an inspected product is present. In the illustrated example, Whenever sensor 1 is low, this indicates that there is a product present, at which point a 25 Hz output pulse is generated to the camera for as long as that product remains present. The 25 Hz trigger is generated by the CC320's internal timer. Another mode option is pulse burst mode. This is used where a series of outputs are required in a set sequence following a product sensing trigger. So in this example, once sensor 1 has been made, a fast triggering process is initiated involving four lights and a camera which are turned on in sequence. In this case, triggering of each light is delayed by 40 milliseconds. As each light is pulsed, another output is used to pulse the camera on each occasion. The CC320 also has the inbuilt function of a first in, first out shift register for synchronising an application such as reject mechanisms. In these applications, the timing for the reject gate will be synchronised to the original sensor. There might be multiple products between the original sensor and the reject gate. All of them will be tracked so that the relevant faulty products can be rejected at the appropriate point. The CC320 is very easy to configure and can communicate via Ethernet for both setup purposes and real-time command changes. Setup time is typically measured in minutes as opposed to the more involved programming of a PLC or an SPS for example. It's a single component solution with absolute minimum resources required to implement machine vision solutions.
From this specification table, you can see that the CC320 handles 8 inputs and 8 outputs as standard. This I.O. can individually be configured to operate in any of the application modes that have been highlighted in this summary. And there are further special operating modes also available, as is the option to have the CC320 tailored to the user's specific requirements.